I'm John Delaney and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. This is our Republic of Ireland versus Wales preview. And um, we've got Jonathan coming in on the show and Phil, as always, our mainstay here on the couch. Okay, so we'll uh, I suppose we'll get into it. We're talking about um, I'd say the big thing we need to mention is the Slovenia and Scotland result. Indeed. Get all our scenarios we were we were going through the all the, the possible first? scenarios that could have happened. You obviously, wanna see me jumping around the couch either. Roman yeah. Roman De Jacques or what it? Oh, was it Bell I don't know. I can't Roman. pronounce it. Yeah, Roman yeah. Roman. Roman. <laughs> Roman scored uh, two Roman. goals. Great so, uh, bunch of lads. We're gonna see, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Slovenians are a great bunch of lads, yeah. We're gonna send him uh a few Irish fan TV mugs yeah. for for, for, for giving us a couple. dig out there. What's his name again? And we'll get we'll get your name. But His I'm, name's yeah. Roman. Um, yeah, but uh, they, yeah, they've done us a massive favour. We kind of we left ourselves with all to do. We still have to get the win in Cardiff, but the, the, you, you just know they're going to be up for that. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go on, biscuit us. <laughs> go on, intro. I'll take yeah. one. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, like, I don't think we've anything to fear going into this game. I think it'll all depend on the lineup. Yeah. It'll mm. all depend on, on what lineup we go for. And I think what we need to do is f f so, uh, focus solely. If we can get a ball playing team in there, there's no reason why we can't win that game. Because if we go long ball, if we go route one, you're playing to Ashley Williams. Is it, is it James Collins who starts beside him now? Uh, it's not. It's, no, um, it's not Collins anyway. Is it Chester? <laughs> Chester, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then they've got they got they got Ben Davis who's quite good obviously on the He's left. We spoke about that with with the boys on um, Eat Sleep Footy Repeat, which you can check on our YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, uh, they if we go with a ball playing midfield, I, I keep the ball down. Ashley Williams is finished. I'm sorry, but he's finished. Mm -hmm. uh, Everton fan, I watch him week in week out. He's finished. It's hard so, isn't it? uh, Well, yeah, maybe. No, he was because he was an exceptional player. Uh, but he was at Swansea, but his legs seemed to have gone on. Yeah, he just wrong, wrong side of thirty now, wasn't he? Yeah, he's just yeah. deteriorating. Starting to kind of like he's definitely not, he's not a fan of his hair. Yeah, no, certainly not. No, a fan of his hair, but yeah, but uh, like there's definitely weaknesses there if you can get run either side of him down the challenge. Absolutely, it's well, it, there for the taking. Do you think Murphy like? Do, do you reckon they would kind of go with the two up front again? I, don't know. I think they'll go with the two, but the thing is, they don't need to play like. Murphy's cover is back to goal. Yeah. I think he's cover is back to goal even on the ground. So he can hold balls up. What I'm just saying is that if we actually play balls down and use long pace to get in behind, because he's more than likely going to start with Shane Long. I, I, um, I would be very, very surprised if like he doesn't. It. Like, as much as probably most fans <laughs> don't want to. I don't, like, and most fans do love Shane Long. Like, they, do, they do want to see him do well, but he's just, it's basically just on form. That most fans would like to see, yeah. obviously, other players. Yeah, no, I do. I've, uh, I've the height of respect for Shane Long. I think he's been a great servant to us over the years. It's just again we come back to former merit, former merit, and it's merit for him lately. Yeah, for me, the, for me, I personally would take him out. Yeah, yeah no, I would, would put in. I would, I would pack the midfield, yeah. possibly yeah. put Murphy up top. Well, we need to win. We you do need to win, we but, do, but that, that the, the like the, for me, Welsh's strong point is their is their midfield unit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, like you have Ledley, you have Allen, uh, King, Ramsey. Um, you have Ramsey who just probably just play behind Volks more than likely. Or Ramsey's like said Dan for Wales yeah, as yeah, well. He it, doesn't do it for us, but yeah. he'll do it for Wales. Yeah, and, and then you have what Lawrence, and he just tends to cut in as well. So that midfield is going to be jam smacked. Full, full not a lot, not a lot of space, and they've and to be fair to them, especially with the likes of Allen and uh, Ledley, they have some very good ball player midfields. I, I would, I would, I would, I would just flood the midfield. Um, I would. You need to have a, a three with with two wingers. Like even if we go with one striker, we'll just we'll decide or we'll we'll debate what striker we'll go with later. But I would have one, and I would have. Brady and then I would have McLean off, so there can be that yeah. link link between so mid, mid, mid midfield. So you have to, yeah, three. you have the energy. It's a four two three slash a four five one, um, with with the with the two linking forward. Four, five three two. Um, but I don't, I don't think we should set up the way we did against Ball Dog. Pressing think, the ball, we're not the, we're not the type of team no. to try and play football with Wales. So pack the midfield, 
obviously it's, it's, it's not the it's not the prettiest to watch but a physical but presence will knock these midfielders out but you if know? you think if you look at the game that we played mm. in Wales we, we played like that with these long balls and it, it, we didn't do it we didn't create any yeah practice. but there's playing there's playing yeah. long balls and they're setting up just mm. to, to to kind of be physical to get in but that's what the Wales we don't, we don't want to do that we want to be down there and we need, we need to attack we need to go there and attack even the, the Welsh lads were saying that we can't afford it to go there and sit there. We need no. to go and win. We need we, we have to win that game. There's no like I would rather us go out, try and win the game and get beat three 0 But up, yeah, sit yeah. back and, and, and try and pray to God that we'll get a one 0 win. I'm not having it. Like yeah. we should be going there and, and, and playing ball playing players like Arthur, Hendrick, and say Wes or someone like that in the midfield and then have your McLeans or, or do it as a four four two even, have your McLeans and your Brady's on the wing. And then um, Obviously, leave the back four as it is, and have your two strikers up front. But I, I, I genuinely believe if we if we get the ball down and we play it, and we can do it, and we have done it in the but past. Do you, do you not think that there's we more can do it? But we, yeah, sorry, sorry no, no, I was just, to put you I, off, no, no, I was just about to say, do you not think there's more of a chance of keeping the ball on the floor if we if we go up one up front because you're going to have the likes of your McLeans and Brady's just linking like the, you just playing five of them in field doesn't have to be negative. Yeah. Um, exactly. Oftentimes, when you've well, two, it is with Ireland. You, but like it shouldn't be. There's a there's a lack of like Hendrick, um, not to rub it in after the last result, but he's playing as that as that attacking midfielder. Yeah. Um, Brady can play in that. McLean can play in that position. Well, yeah, and, and like go with go with a three. Um, go, have go um, Myler, go Arthur, and go Hendrick. And yeah, then, sorry, I keep leaving um, Myler out of that midfield. I shouldn't be doing yeah. that. He, he, he's he's just a for his place. Yeah. See, when when you have the anchor like Myler with a five man midfield. Hendrick can push up further mm-hmm. and they can play like if you have runners obviously McLean will run all day for you, you get McLean running in behind mm-hmm. I think Hendrick has the quality to find them Harry Arthur has the quality Absolutely. to find them it, again it doesn't have to be negative Yeah, like it's not just trying to flood the midfield you know trying to just I just hope McLean bully has his wits about him because I, the last thing you need is him losing the, the first thing yeah. you see him do is go out and just jump into a tackle odds on the first yellow card odd uh, I don't think I'd be afraid that they'd be <coughs> carrying the whole Seamus Coleman thing into the game, and I hope they don't do that. You know, like um, revenge. Yeah, I hope they don't do that. No, I, I don't. Think, I think enough time. If anything, has passed. That what they should be doing is trying to win the game for Seamus. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah. Now there's going to be there's, uh, there's definitely going to be. Uh, I don't think it'll be one for the football purists. I do think it'll be nitty, and they'll be flying into tackles left, right, left right and centre, yeah, just like in Dublin. Yeah, um, probably even more to be fair, because there wasn't a like that game in Dublin. Like uh, aside from the horrible tackle that happened to. Yeah, Bale should have walked as well. That was another horrendous yeah. tackle. But, but the game yeah, was Wales awkward. weren't yeah, Wales weren't very good. No. In the Aviva. They they weren't very good. Both teams kinda of cancelled each other out with how badly they play, played. Yeah, um, and, yeah, the only thing I say I just hate this mentality that we have is that we're poor little Ireland and we can't go out and we can't play against these teams. Why not? Look at our players. We've we, Yep. Go through the players, and majority of them are very good players. McLean, Premiership. Brady, Premiership. Shane Long, Premiership. No, he's not going at the moment. But you've got Henrik, Premiership. Uh, Arthur, Premiership. Duffy, Clark, Premiership. Ward, Premiership. The, just what? How many is that out of the squad? Eight that play in the Premier League that will probably play in that's the what, game. That's why I would go, and I would play all those attacking ball-playing midfielders and, and go in the middle, because I think if we go if we go long and Murphy, it's going to more inclined to just more hoofs up. You need, up you need to I cut off we, Ramsey. You need to yeah. cut off Ramsey. Cause he's, Myler cut him off, then, no? He, no, the, yeah, him being the anchor can do that. Mm-hmm. Ramsey is the focal point of that Wales team, especially yeah, I, you see in the Georgia course, game. Yeah. Lawrence as well was yeah. very good, but yeah. Ramsey... If you can get at Ledley as well, I think if you can get someone like... Even you can have McLean or Brady even just being on him, pressure, pressure. I'd say, I'd say probably Brady, he seems, to, he seems to like him more in the central. He though. does, yeah. Um, like even, I it, prefer him out wide, I think he does a better job out wide. Perhaps, yeah, no, but it, like... It, as I you just said, like his whip. Yeah, he's done, he has a lovely bit of whip to him there, but I just think if we can get our attacking players on the ball and get that, particularly that quartet in in midfield on the ball playing the ball, I think we're more than good enough to to win. And then if we have to the usual half an hour to go, we go for the, the big hail mary and we can bring on a second striker and then just yeah. really go for it. But I would like I would like to go with a more controlled uh, yeah. attacking midfield. See, see, if we play one up front with Murphy and we do revert 
to Ireland tactics, Martin O'Neill tactics, where we it's launch the Martin ball. O'Neill is the same. But if, if we do have Murphy up front, he plays that far more effectively than Shane Long does. Yeah, the only thing is Murphy had a couple of sloppy touches Friday night, as good as the goals were as well. That, that's one thing we can't afford again. Like he had a couple of times where his first touch turned into a bloody tackle. <laughs> there, was, there, was two, there was at least two of those. But um, That's what James McLean was like against Serbia, though. Yeah, that, no, that's, McLean that's, has that in him, yeah. McLean on a, on, a, on a good day, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, well, if he has a good day like he did against the Austrians in, that, uh, uh, in both games, home and mm-hmm. away, he was superb against uh, Austria uh, in, in the Aviva. Uh, he ran the show. You just don't. You don't want the the whole Serbia losing the head and um, starting play, play, playing the quarterback, just pinging balls left around the centre. You just want him higher up the pitch, playing in a more controlled uh, controlled because it is going to be edgy, like as you said with the shamey tackle and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And then there was the keen quotes before the game as well. This is war, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it will be a dogfight as two teams last day of the campaign needing a win pretty much to, to get the to get to, to get to where they want to be so obviously there's going to be a lot of passion which is control is the big thing really in fairness to Martin O'Neill though a lot of the time he, he, he does know how to hype his players up for a big game yeah. mm-hmm. he's a great man yeah. manager he, he's a very good motivator yeah. and I mean I was watching a documentary earlier on Keane and he demands the best of everything being from Man United and when they won everything the best team in the world he has very high standards I hope he 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 goes through them for a short cup before the games so like, this is it do you want it or not mm-hmm. yeah it, the opp- we have to just go there and win it's yes. not impossible no 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 no. no. They're, they're there for the taking because as good as the Welsh as good as the um, the Welsh results have been um, it's been uh, it's not been good performances they've been edging a lot of kind of one nils like there was another one nil on, on Friday night there I can't remember who they were playing previously I remember Woodburn come on and score the value was Austria sorry yep thank you um and it just turned. They're turning kind of draws into wins by not great performance. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't fear them. Um, they do have a lot of. Uh, you know, they've a lot. They've an effective team, but they're no superstars. And uh, we're, we're we're more the capable of I, more yeah, the capable I, of beating that's them. What, that's what that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm really, why is it always poor little Ireland? Oh, poor little Ireland. We can't beat them. Oh, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll hope for the best. We might make a goal. No, go there and fucking go for the win. Mm-hmm. Like. Take no, Ireland, you have a fucking the amount of people that are going over to this game. Oh, yeah, the one thing you do know, the the noise from the Ireland fans over there will mm-hmm. be enough to kind of lift them. They'll put, they will come out of the blocks straight away, and it will be high pressure. I just hope, for our sake, we can kind of get an early goal because I think the longer it goes on, the more edgy it will get. Absolutely, but at at, at the same time, look, we go there. And score the first twenty minutes. Don't sit back. Oh God, no, please. Mm. <laughs> no, the, I don't score in the first two minutes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> I'll be take it. I'll take it. <laughs> well, we can score. Uh, you know, in the 20, 20, 20 minute or mark, so, yeah. around, around that time, <laughs> get a goal in. You know, I, I personally think we're going to win two one. I would take that. I would take that. I would and I, you know, I would love. I would absolutely get. A raging hard on if Maguire scored. The, it was one one, and the last minute he scored a Robbie Keane esque versus Germany type goal. <laughs> I don't think he'll ever have to buy a pint in his life ever again in Ireland. Yeah, like it, it's two. It's it just popped up on my Facebook there earlier. Um, it's been well documented earlier on. It's two years today since probably around this long. time now since the the magic uh, long moment. Probably the the best atmosphere I've ever witnessed at the at the new Lansdowne Road. We'll call it, but. We need that piece of magic. We need that new story to to, to tell. Absolutely, in a, in a yeah. Somebody, time. somebody needs to make history. Yeah, someone needs to be that hero. That to, moment. To be honest, and he always does it in the bigger games for us. If you look at the bigger games, Robbie Brady, France, mm-hmm. Bosnia, uh, Italy, Italy, huge yeah. one. Yeah, we'd love all for, these games. He, for, he he has turned up. Yeah. and he he he's got the goals. Well, I think he wears his heart in his sleeve for if us. There's anyone who's oh, like an Italian here. Look at that. Man, look at that. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> but I, I firmly believe that if we go out there with the mentality, and it, I think if he has his head right, who say he wouldn't whip a free kick in the top corner? He's doing it against yeah. Chelsea. Yeah. Imagine. Like, well, well, I would say it. Just and Hennessy is shy. Yeah, he's not the best. <laughs> Actually, you were on. speaking to the lads from East Sleep Footy Repeat, and they were talking about um, where the game is being played. Actually, so kind of the smaller ground, yeah, better, atmosphere. better atmosphere, because mm-hmm. you will hear them Irish fans. And I'm just just elaborate on what you said there about Brady and the free kicks. 
God knows there's going to be a lot of free kicks. There's going to be a lot of fouls. Oh, uh, absolutely. Tomorrow, yeah. so there's a good chance that like I, I, I see him sticking a free kick. Uh, I hope I'm up. I'm right, but I'll take. It's one of those games where you take the ball coming off someone's arse and, and roll it over the line. Exactly, but Shane Long's arse. Uh, well, yeah, I'll take anyone. I, I think it, I'm like, not fussy. I think a lot of people would like to see Shane break his stoke because it'd be nice for him. They do. Let's be honest. Yeah. Not many people out there. He's not a very unlikable guy. No. Shane Long. You, you want to see him do well. Yeah. I don't think anyone really has a bad word to say, but it was just the fact that he's out of form, and that's just that's yeah. Ho- he hopefully, is. hopefully he because. He was saying, you know, he can't buy a goal. Obviously, I really just hope he, you know, he's he's just not down the dumps. His confidence is, isn't too shot, mm-hmm. and he can kind of he can kind of be the guy because we have seen him in the past. He has got he has scored vital goals for us when mm-hmm. called upon. So yeah, we're not just needs that moment where it's uh, he's no time to think and he just has to whip. That's it. it that, um, yeah. If he gets that, um, <clears throat> you know, there's a good chance of him scoring. It's, it's when he has that. It's when he has that extra three seconds. Yeah, he's is when these fellas in the Premier League week yeah. in week out. And like, he's done it in the past. So. He's got. He's going to thrive against Williams. Um, I really think he try. If if Long was on the pitch, like he's going to destroy. If it's him a off. race, that's what I'm saying. If the yeah. ball's on the ground, yes, that's where he's going to tear yeah. Williams apart. Yeah. And that's what. Uh, that's what I'm saying. If you, if you do long balls, you're playing to his. Oh, of course, then, that's what know? he wants. That's so, what he wants. But yeah. But then again, you're saying Murphy, but he's he's played against the likes of Lukaku uh, and the likes of Williams every week. He's he you know it's his bread and butter these these long balls. Um, that's what we don't need, and that's what I'm thinking. But we do have Duffy and Clark who like to just they like to yeah. get ready. Yeah, there's no nonsense there. Is it? Yeah, I hope I hope James Duff or I hope Shane Duffy, sorry, um, has his head screwed on. I hope he does have his head screwed on at the back because he, he he is an absolute presence when we do have a set piece or mm-hmm. we do have a throw in. But you do you do kind of fear for him. His concentration levels yeah. himself and Clark, Clark are a bit times. jittery, aren't they? At yeah. times, yeah. But uh, I would like to see. A bit of protection on the right hand side with Christy because I was watching him the other night and the Moldovan fellas even running at him there. And, he, and I was just like, so he was very poor. Come on now, and I, I was I was sticking up for him. <coughs> but there's only so so, uh, so much sticking yeah. up you can yeah. do. I, ho- I, ho- I hope he I hope he kind of I hope he can do a bit better when he does overlap because his his final ball against Moldova was shocking in the second. The thing that pisses me off is that he came out already and got he's accepted the fact that when Seamus Callum comes back that he's lost his place. What sort of fucking? Yeah, he doesn't see him. He doesn't. Yeah, he kind of seems too laid it? back for his own good. Yeah. But then he was calling himself the the best right back in the championship, the championship or something. Yeah. Or outside the Premier League. Just it? needs to get that medium there. <laughs> <laughs> he's hot cold. But yeah, like, you shouldn't be. No, like if I was in a team and I seen someone that was better, I would never to come out and say, "Oh well, when he comes back." He's gonna walk in ahead of me. No, oh, you should come well, out that and shit. say. That, that, that's probably the man. That's that's the <clears> mentality <throat> I'm talking about. You wouldn't see Conor McGregor coming out and saying, "Oh, listen, <laughs> fucking your man Joe Duffy or what was his name? Sorry, um, Duffy. Joe Duffy. Joe Duffy. Sorry. Yeah, I did say that today. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't see Conor McGregor you right see, back for yeah. Ireland. No, yeah, you wouldn't see him on Joe well, Duffy. You got beat by him. But he still calls himself the best. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't see him going. You know, oh, no, oh, he, oh he, yeah. he came in and beat me. It's, it's that mentality is I'm the best. And they should have that mentality or the manager should put that mentality into them. They're, they're, they're the best of our Irish players, according yeah. to him. Mm-hmm. So go out and fucking prove it. Yeah, because there's not there's nothing to fear with that Welsh team. There's no. nothing no, to fear. Bale's not there. Yeah, we're more than capable of beating them. But but the fact, yeah, the fact that we have to win, you have to think the Wales lads would be kind of thinking, oh, geez, better not slip up here. And on us to win the game, uh, the Wales players could feel the pressure from that. Yeah, well, at the same time, you know, they won't think this is an easy game. No. no. If you ask, like... Look at Serbia, um, Ivanovic, he played at the top level in Champions League, you name it with Chelsea. He said the hardest game he played was against Ireland in the last game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We are not a nice team to play against. No. We're not a nice team to watch, mind you. <laughs> but, Most definitely. Um, it's just touching on your point. Wales, Wales, they will be saying, it, look, they won't be finding this game easy. I'm... Like, do they want? Do at, they want to get into a dogfight? If you look at our players, on paper, I would argue a majority of them are better in their positions, except for maybe uh, Ramsey. But anybody else in there, I would I wouldn't say is, is better. Maybe Ben Davis, a left back, he's, he's very good. But those two, uh, Ramsey, obviously Bale's not going to be there. But 
I, I don't think that uh, Joe Allen is any better than any of our centre no. mids. No, any no, of our I better agree, ones. Yeah. I don't think Joe Ledley is either. No. I think Moyler is, is, is probably better. Maybe I'm being biased. But That's probably a little biased. There is a bit of bias I'll, there. I'll go yeah. with it, yeah. I'll jump but on that. Do you know what I mean? I, so I, I don't see why we should be fearing him. I, I think Ward is, is, a, is a decent at back, and I think under Sean Dyche, he's, he's, he's improving all the time. Uh, Christy, mm. he's. Uh, you know, he's hard called. He is hard called. Um, Randolph and Hennessy are probably about. I think Randolph's probably a little bit better. I'd go Randolph, yeah. And then, um, yeah. So you can you kind of look at the players. As, as uh, Vokes is very similar to uh, Murphy. Murphy, yeah. Um, is Canu is very similar to Long. Yeah, as, uh, yeah. The lads were saying earlier. <laughs> True, yeah. So if you kind of look at it, in that, like Shane, in, yeah. If you look at it in that sense, and then if you look at our bench compared to their bench, I think we've a stronger bench too. So. I just don't see. I think in this case we're superior. How, how, when was the last time Wales, Wales beat us? Because we should go. We should have the psychological. That we're the bigger nation. Yeah. yeah. Like we should have the advantage there because we have beaten them. Like remember that cup that the Carling was it called the Carling Nations Cup? God, yeah, that, that was, that was horrible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we beat every single. We, we beat them all. Um, what was it like our version of the what was it the Six Nations or yeah. something? Yeah, <laughs> no, but we won it. And yeah, yeah, we do. It's the yeah. only thing we won. It's the last thing we won is right. <laughs> it's probably the only thing. Yeah. But uh, that's what I'm saying. It's like people are going, "Oh well, Wales, Wales, Wales." I'm like, Fuck Wales! Like, I don't fear them. I really don't fear them, and no. that's not me being cocky. Or whatever. Then we're we're and more the capable of, of beating them. Yeah, we have seen. We should watch this for fucking motivation. We have seen <laughs> it previously when our backs are against the wall. When we need to perform, we. We step up and we do it. Yeah. Obviously, Italy, France. Partly that game in Paris, they weren't the famous. They are, they are, they are and willing Ronnie, lads. Generally, we have we we we're not a team to lie down. We will fight till the end. Yeah, and look, and uh, as you were saying there, uh, we have a chance to top the group. Georgia go and beat Serbia, yeah. which is not impossible. It is so not, we go and beat uh, Wales. Yeah, uh, yeah, and look, the results have gone gone lovely. Or, Shout out to our good buddy Roman there in the sort of Slovenia again. Yeah, get, yeah. Send you more, man. Yeah, <laughs> you know they're a great bunch of lads and and, and all that. But uh, it's completely open. It's, it's weird. Like you're, I'm sat at home like a weirdo screaming my head off with just some obscure result coming <laughs> coming in. See when the keeper made a save, I think it was Robertson sent someone in, <laughs> and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and it was a bit a bit of a squeaky bomb at the end. But look, we are where we, where we want to be. We're we're playing last game, a win, and we're at least a playoff. So. You know, I know we messed up halfway through the group. We had a wobble, but like we're back where we want to be now, and uh, look, we're more than capable of winning. And I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I've no, exactly. not, I'm not fearful at all. Be fe- We've been be. here before. We've been here before. Big game. We need a performance. Yeah, just take that hammer so, right off and just just rip in. I, I hope. I hope. I just I wish hope John Walters was yeah. <laughs> I hope. I hope they go in there with nothing to fear because yeah. they they don't have anything to fear. Yeah, but I thought I thought what Roy Keane came out and said was that they were all crying over bail. We've been without Coleman, who's our best player, our captain, mm-hmm. for what was it four games he's probably missed? About that, yeah. There's his friendlies involved in it, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't really count it, but four yeah, of the four, four games, qualifying you know? games, yeah. So and then they go bail, bail, bail. Look at the difference since Coleman's gone out of the team. Like we were we were doing well beating teams like Austria away. And look, it goes to show you Austria are a decent team. They went and beat Serbia, you know. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? and you do miss kind of Coleman's. You know, he's such a, he's such a vocal yeah. player on the pitch, and he gets them the going. Way, the way he revs up the players exactly. as well. Like, yeah, that's that's been that's been I, missed. I would, passion. Yeah, I would go as far as saying that if Coleman was in that team tomorrow night, I would have no fear of us not getting the job done. I'd say, possibly, yeah. if if McCarthy was fit, he's a fabulous midfielder. <laughs> and every like not our Ireland fans see it. I I'd say it from watching like I've watched him a lot and he's a very good player. And even Cuban said like if he could stay injury free he'd be in his plans mm-hmm. before he got injured yeah. he was in his plans and then the, there was the whole the yeah, club course, versus yeah. country crap. Which uh, don't get don't bring me into that because I've nothing to do with it. So I hate when people ask me about it. It's nothing to do with me. I I, I have no control over. It. But anyway, um, point being that um. McCarthy would definitely be one of our best players. And if you look at our biggest performances, he's been in the team. Yes. And we've won. He's a big game, he's a big game player. Yeah, uh, even with Everton that season with Martinez his first year when we were beating bigger teams, he was always in the team. Mm-hmm. And he just has that drive about him and he'll win you the tackles and he'll win the, he'll win the balls against the, the bigger players. Like he he'll he'll win say like 
Bale or something like that was, was playing he was playing he, when, when he's fully fit he'll go and win you the, that ball against these players no fear about yeah. him and um, so you'd argue you know he would be one of our best players that's injured as well yeah look uh, uh, maybe you wouldn't but Paul's I part of everything yeah would you have guessed <laughs> but what I'll say is he, Just I, saying, he, I know he, he, gets a, he gets a lot of sticks he, he does he, get a lot of sticks he's a, he's a good player when he, and he's fit I, I will uh, he's a bit, he is a big loss but I'd argue that we're pretty okay in centre of the field yeah, um, with yeah. a lot of attacking options there, a lot of quality players. But I'm just saying he moves the ball around well. He does, he does. Yeah, no, he's a, he's and, an, uh, he's an and he gets player. himself ar- around well, but yeah. um, he probably doesn't get enough credit for it because he's injured a lot. Yeah, that, and, and that's the, that's the mm. only thing I'm saying. He's like bigger games. He's came in and, and he, he's made a difference, like uh, Germany and in of Europe course, yeah, no, no, he's, like that he's a very well, talented you know, player so. and he gets a, an unjust amount of stick in, in my mind, even as a big red me, but. Um, no, hopefully he gets back quick, uh, quick uh, back to fitness. He needs to leave Everson to. He probably is going to struggle to get into that my team um, at the moment. But I just hope for his own sake, he just get back playing. Ball yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Even as an Everton fan, I'd like to see him as a neutral, you know. Because he, he will be a good option for us in midfield. Yeah, yeah. We get on to the predictions then. Yeah, uh, my prediction is two one. It's going to be one all, and then I think we'll get, we'll get a late goal. I think. I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> Yourself? Um, I'm going to go 2 1 as well. Um, Brady for a kick and a Shane Lang goal. I suppose I'll have to go with something else. I, I, <laughs> I'm going to go 2 0. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be. I, I never get a chance to be uh, overly confident because I'm an Arsenal fan, but uh, I'm going to go 2 0. Why not? Let's do it. Let's Come on, you boys in green. Put them yeah. under pressure and all that. All that stuff, yeah. I think. Uh, I hope. Will if we, will we, will we go to, um, I think if Brady plays, he gets the score sheet. You know what we do? We won't predict. We won't predict our starting eleven. We let you guys pick the starting eleven. Put your starting eleven comments. in the comments, yeah. yeah. But just make sure you agree with us. That's all. That's yeah. all I say. Because <laughs> we're all, we're always right. Yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. Thank you very much, Johnson. Cheers, folks. Thanks, John.